You can now book a flight to Aruba on American Airlines without using a credit card or buy a $2,500 Peloton bike on a payment schedule with no money down, no late fees, and no compounding interest. You can even buy a frying pan at Walmart and your groceries at Target without putting down a dime. What we're talking about is commonly referred to as buy now, pay later, and it's making a big impression this holiday season. Is it a steal of a deal or a case of buyer beware? Think of it as the Gen Z version of an old school layaway plan, except consumers get the product up front with the bulk of payments made weeks or even months later, and business is booming. And a firm shares didn't just rally, they shot up. You have a unicorn funding round here. Announcing plans to buy Australian fintech company Afterpay in a $29 billion all stock deal. Shoppers have always loved installment plans. Five easy monthly payments of only $19.99. What do you think of that? We've been doing it in some form with homes and cars for decades. Zero down payment. Zero security deposits. Zero first month payment. But now you can apply that concept to small everyday purchases. And because these items are relatively cheap with super fast payment schedules, they come with some big perks. Here's credit card expert Matt Schultz with LendingTree. These buy now pay later loans definitely have some advantages over credit cards. And number one is that they're often interest free. Nearly 56% of American consumers have used a buy now, pay later service in 2021, up from 38% the year prior. I think that the simplicity, the transparency, and the clarity of these buy now, pay later loans is a big lure. Shoppers should know exactly what they're on the hook for, instead of getting hit with unforeseen interest and fees down the road. One of our core values as a company is no fine print. Too good to be true? Part of the danger of these loans is that they are really easy to get. According to a 2018 survey on Afterpay, 65% of respondents said the ability to make smaller payments influenced them to make purchases they wouldn't normally make. That's why millennial-focused financial advisor Douglas Bonaparte thinks it actually creates bad financial behavior. The psychology is I don't have to pay for this all at once and I get to keep on to this money that I have here. And because of that, you trick yourself into then going to buy something else and then buy something else. So that new Fendi baguette or selkie dress from Revolve that seemed so extravagant, suddenly it doesn't seem so out of reach. This definitely reaches down to impressionable younger spenders who have um, pressures from social media. I need to look this way because of this filtered Instagram photo. Now I can get that look right there on the app with a buy now, pay later program built into it. We've made it so easy to do that. And the easier it is, the easier it is to get into trouble. Okay, so what happens if you miss a payment? In most cases, you're cut off. No more buying until you settle your account. You can also be charged late fees from some providers, but those are detailed up front. What do you think? Will you buy now, pay later this holiday season? Let me know in the comments.